My name is Sheena Robinson. I work for the Indigenous Education Wichaheu program, and Wichaheu is a Michif word for support. So it's offered through the Mid-Island Métis Nation Association to help all Indigenous students. We work with high school age students. I present to usually grade 10 through 12, and I talk to them about uh, transitioning to university, and then I'm here once they get here. So. I work with all ages once they're at university. And I also work with um, the learning alternative programs. So the students there are anywhere from grade eight to 12. Well, my office is based in Nanaimo here. Um, I go to all of the high schools in this district, as well as the learning alternative programs, which are through District 84. And I come to university once a week. And I also travel all around the city, like. If a student wants to meet for coffee or um, to get a tutor, you know, at a library, wherever they feel comfortable meeting, um, I go to them. The aim of our program is to just offer support to Indigenous students as they transition to university. So uh, we do this by sharing information. Um, I talk to them about the resources that are available to them on campus, like Aboriginal counselors teachers, um, the students for Aboriginal services, the navigators, um, anything they need help with. And uh, when I talk to the high school students, we tell them all about that, but we also tell them about community events. So uh, events that'll help them get sort of in touch with their culture. Um, we serve Métis, Inuit, First Nations, so there's always, always things for us to offer to them. Um, yeah, so it's a little different for for everywhere I work. So when I'm working with the Siwak Learning Center, um, they already have a lot of cultural activities with them. So th what, I, what we offer to them is physical education activities that have a cultural base. So things like archery and lacrosse, I get funding lined up and we do those events with them. So those count towards their PE, you know, for their certificate to get graduated. And um, when I work with high school students, I go to present to them. I tell them all about VIU and what they have to offer. And I do um, sort of healing and wellness activities with them, uh, sort of based on the medicine wheel and circles of support, um, anything that they can do to stay mentally healthy. And then uh, what I offer when I'm at VIU is I sit at the gathering place at Shkopset every day or every Wednesday. and. I've got my sign on the table and I'm there to offer any kind of support, anywhere from emotional support to telling people where the education advisors are or um, you know how they can declare a minor or major, who they should go talk to for certain things, directing them in the right direction. Well, it's a relatively new program, so how we measure success is pretty much through student response and it's by each student. So when a student tells us that uh, the program has helped them uh, either get into a program or just get through a program. You know, anytime a student says thank you for helping is basically how we're measuring it. So I do a report every week and it's called Weekly Measures of Success. So we talk about how many students that we um, get involved with and, uh, you know, we attend as many events as we can and talk to the students and we have surveys to ask them like, after we've talked to them if they've felt that they've been helped. So that's a lot of uh, the way that we measure the success. Seeing a difference in a student after we've had a one-on-one, -on -one, you know, I'll probably have helped them figure out how to get a tutor or um, where to go for help. And that's helpful in that sense. But overall, um, we're hoping that in more in the future, we'll be able to see that there's more of a retention of students staying in university, staying in high school and um, because this program offers support from high school through to university, um, we'll be able to see more in a couple of years that it's helping, but it's definitely starting to show already. So. We have a lot of students that are just thankful for the support, like for an extra, extra bit of support. You know, sometimes they don't know who they can ask or they're afraid to ask for help. And this is a way for me to be able to guide them in the right direction. So um, I don't always have the, the answer for them, but I always usually know someone who will. So yeah, that's Please. been the most, the most um, common feedback is thank you so much for your help, basically. Awesome. <laughs> Couldn't so have done it without you kind of thing. 
The challenges that I faced are working with two different school districts and the university, so trying to juggle all of those. Um, they all require different, um, different ways for me. Like, um, like I said, with the learning centers, my role is a lot different. And so um, I really need to build trust with the students one-on-one -on -one before they really are able to absorb what I'm trying to like tell them about educational goals. Whereas when I go to the high schools, I more present to the class, like almost like a teacher. Yeah. And then when I come to VIU, um, I'm more of a peer because I'm sitting amongst them. And um, yeah, it's, it's just been a challenge um, trying to juggle my different roles within it. But um, the longer I've been doing it, the more easier it's become. So I can see the program being really successful as it goes on. It's quite a new program. So I think um, within the next couple of years, we'll really see, see um, the benefits of it. It started, I believe, two years ago, and it started out as a just simply for Métis students. Yeah. Um, because it is the Mid-Island Métis Nation. And when they were presenting to the high schools, there was obvious need that, you know, all the Indigenous students need needed help and need these resources and knowledge as well. So they expanded it to all Indigenous students. So I believe that just started um, this past fall. Even though this program is new, it's already really showing signs of of being a benefit to students. And there's a lot of interest growing within the community people that want to partner with it, um, you know, everyone want, has been emailing, calling, they want to get involved and help in any way they can to support Indigenous students as they make this transition. And it's starting to become more of not just post-secondary, but just support in other ways, like helping them find careers, helping them get more involved with their culture, their communities. So it's really becoming um, something bigger than when it started. To me, Indigenous education is finding a way to, to walk in two worlds, to balance um, the Western ways of learning with your traditional ways. So a lot of um, community-based, land-based, language-based learning um, paired with Western learning. So you can, I, so the students can make it in either world and both worlds when they graduate. I think it's really important um, to be able to find work within your community, but also anywhere in the world. So with the knowledge that you're gaining, um, just to be able to have a solid sense of identity when you come out. I think uh, language revitalization is a really important part of Indigenous education. Um, it's, it's starting to become more common. There's schools that are ahead of others. And um, I think it's really important to learn the languages when you're on someone else's land. Like if you're in a school like VIU, you're on Stenemo territory. I think it's really important to learn some of the Coast Salish language and protocol to show respect. But I also think it's really important to, to learn your own from your own community. And um, I grew up away from my, my home and my language. And just going to school and realizing what Indigenous education is, I know now like how important it is to learn. So my hope is that that we'll find a way for people to learn their own languages even when they're away from home. My vision for Indigenous education over the next 10 years is to, to have families and communities more involved. Um, there's a lot of Indigenous students that are are in school away from home and they really don't have that support system and when things go wrong at home the tendency is to go back and be with your family and uh, I just hope that there are ways that we can incorporate more support from the family and community supporting the student while they're away at school and I don't know um, what we can do about that but I think a lot of um, it's going to come up, you know, it's going to happen because we need to work on the retention of students and a lot of the times people will drop out to go back home for various reasons. So I think that's really important. And I think the language uh, revitalization is key. Finding ways that we can 
learn our own language, like even if it's through directed studies, um, even though we're away from home. Uh, for so. me, what helped me on campus being away from home and community is finding a mentorship program, like uh, the Community Cousins is what I joined when I was in school. So it's an Aboriginal mentorship program and you kind of uh, have your own community on campus. Um, it's really what helped, what kept me here. You know, when I was struggling and feeling lonely, that's became my home away from home. And also the gathering place yeah. felt like a really safe space. And uh, just the fact that they brought in traditional knowledge keepers, there's elders there, there's always someone to talk to. That's what kept me here. So for the next 10 years with this program, I think we're gonna start to see a cycle of community helping, you know, we're gonna, I'll be talking to say the grade eight students and then the next year we'll be, they'll be in grade nine, 10, 11, 12. And then when they get to university, they're gonna see a familiar face, you know, on campus, they'll be able to come talk to somebody and, you know, we'll be connecting them with resources that they'll have their whole time here, like the mentorship programs, elders, people they can talk to and yeah, just involving community more.